<laughs> Alright. Let's go over the next objects. Or, I mean, excuse me, the next tools. Let's go over add point. Right here. Also, A M A. Add point just allows you to um, <coughs> add points. Pretty, uh, fairly straightforward, although I would probably recommend other ways of adding points to your geometry. Okay. The bridge tool. <coughs> we use the bridge tool with, in polygons mode. We can bridge two objects together. So if we want to take this, these two separate pieces, separate plane, er, separate polygons here, and press the spacebar to get back to our tool, the bridge tool. We can click and drag and, and bridge those two together. Now I want you to be aware that. We just bridged those two polygons, but it did not it did not combine with this in any way. So if we actually look inside, yeah. there we go. Let's turn around here. Notice that we get some. Uh, uh, it's called, been called Z fighting. Generally, there's two polygons that are right on top of each other, and that is not good. So we have we've we've combined them together, but this, these polygons are still here. They should not be here if you, unless you plan on undoing that step you just did. So you can select it, hit delete, and you can select the other one. Wait, okay, we selected both of them, so it's good now. <coughs> and notice also, you'll get some funny results if you smooth this. So if we stick this on a hypernerve, notice we get some really strange things going on. But since I have those polygons still selected, if I hit delete, then they're gone. <coughs> no problem. No problems. Hmm. So let's just undo that a bit. And also, though, if we want to, let's say, let's say we wanted to bridge these two, we can also do that with the bridge tool. Click and drag, and if you oh, notice, 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 I really couldn't see where I was bridging to. So if we go to N G or generally the lines mode, click and drag, I was dragging to this point, that's not good, this this should work just fine, so if we get back to NA, shaded view, we can see we've made a hole in it, using the bridge object. Next let's go over close polygon hole, and I'll get to the brush here fairly soon. <laughs> Alright, so close polygon hole is also fairly st straightforward, we got a hole, if we hover over it, click it, Okay, there it is. The hole is closed. And this also works. It can actually work across a, f a few different um, sets of surfaces here. Here it is. There it is, too. We can actually click and... Okay, it closes the hole, but notice we, uh, the result is a bunch of... is actually one end gone. And these lines are indicated where, where, where actual geometry probably actually is, since end guns can't really truly exist um, and if you're not seeing these uh, I'll show you how to get that you can go to configure all under the under your viewport it be under here somewhere there it is in guidelines so do remember that and uh, that's usually a pretty good thing to have on because you really don't want in guns unless you plan on cleaning them up later okay so maybe you didn't want that maybe you're wanting to actually close have this and this one pe well, this one polygon this one polygon down here and this one polygon and you didn't want that so what can you do all right now let's go over the create polygon tool this is a way to do it not the way a way you can actually click on these points and create the polygon right there and also I want you to pay attention that the direction you actually click notice I clicked in a clockwise fashion if you click in a counterclockwise fashion the normal will be on the other side notice it's blue instead of orange here the normals need to be on the inside or wherever you're not viewing so you can correct that by oops, simply selecting that and go to um, reverse normal right here, reverse normals, and then with that normals back back in line. Then we can, from there, we can go to close polygon hole and close the rest of these holes up. However, there's another way to do that. <coughs> Let me undo that a few times. 
we can use edges, the bridge tool again, and we can drag these two edges together. Bam! There's a polygon. And drag them in. now, so I drag them in different directions, but it still aligns the normals properly. So we can uh, use that. Oops. Okay. Back, back to the bridge. Shortcut key for bridge is B. Simple enough. <coughs> okay, so we're making polygons. Hold on. Yeah. I'll go over that tool later. All right. All right. Actually, that's the next tool I'd like to go over: the knife tool. And the knife tool allows you to cut geometry just. And it, uh, there's several different ways. A very important tool here. We just click. We can click. Then we can click again. And then notice it draws lines straight across. And then notice it didn't go through it. That's because visible only. If we deselect that, undo that. And we click and drag. It'll make. It'll make uh, edges throughout that whole piece of geometry there. Mm -hmm. Now let's say. Say we want more control. Notice this mode. Do m experiment with the mode, it's very important. Don't particularly use whole a lot. Uh, plane, loop, and path. I don't think I've used path very much. But uh, do experiment with those. Okay, notice I can drag around the loops and it'll just cut across those, those polygon loops there. <coughs> and also notice if I, if I press the shift button, just press it. I can control the offset, so I can make this at exactly 50%, and then click. And I can press the shift button, 50%, then click. Okay, so we've made new new geometry there. <coughs> now, if we go to plane, it will actually cut across the whole entire plane of the object. And now it's also restrict to selection. You you can probably understand what that means. Just by definition, or just just by the uh, the name itself. Also, oh, notice we get end guns if we don't have this unchecked. But it'll it'll cut across everything, even though we have nothing selected. If we have nothing selected, it automatically cuts across the whole object. If we select polygons, then it will indeed restrict it to that selection, and only cut those polygons. And also, um, okay, loop, plane, line. A line, I generally don't use a line a whole lot, but it uh, it can be useful if you're in like one of the top, front, or right views here. Now, again, I middle click to get that. So, the, 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 the knife tool is very important to understand. And I guess I'll go over hole right quick if you want to actually cut a hole in your geometry. Wherever you can just uh, do that, and then it'll it'll cut it there. Now, of course, you notice it it actually made tries here, but you can you can easily get rid of those, and I'll I'll show that in a, a little bit later here. But it just makes a hole is all it does. Oh, and actually, uh, when you would actually want to use line is when you're actually not just clicking and dragging across geometry as a whole, but if you're actually cutting one piece of geometry. So if we click on the point and we click on another point we've just cut that geometry in half so that's where line for the the knife tool can come come in real handy that basically uh, I think that more or less covers the knife tool